This poster indicates the effect of jigsaw reading tasks on the use of cohesive devices in intermediate EFL learners' writing. Writing has been a major concern for both English language teachers and learners, thus the present study is significant as the findings may promise a way through which EFL learners' writing can be improved. Since there are lots of factors involved in foreign language writing, the present study focuses on cohesive devices. In short, cohesive devices have the role of giving cohesion to a text and enable the reader to better connect the ideas and better understand it. And jigsaw reading is defined as the reading technique in which different segments of reading are given to students and through cooperation, students uh, try to understand the reading as whole. In this way, it becomes clear if the jigsaw reading, which in fact it is a reading practice, can help language learners use cohesive devices more frequently in their writing products uh, and in the line. Uh, with the objective of the study, the following research question is stated that, is there any statistically significant relationship between jigsaw reading and the use of cohesive devices in intermediate EFL learners' writing? To answer the research question, under a scrutiny in this study, a quasi-experimental method was used. Uh, at the outset, 90 adult EFL uh, intermediate female learners were selected not randomly. They were within the uh, age range of 18 to 30. And here is the brief description of cohesive devices in the checklist. And uh, a proficiency uh, PET um, was administered to make sure that the learners were homogeneous with respect to their language proficiency. After the administration of the test, the participants who, uh, whose scores hmm, fall between the range of one standard deviation above and below, the mean were chosen for the purpose of the study. That is, uh, only the participants whose score fall under the normal curve were selected, and uh, 60 participants were chosen out of 19 using this method. And uh, prior to the uh, main study, students wrote an essay, then the number of cohesive devices in their states were counted using the cohesive devices checklist from Hinkle. The cohesive devices were counted and the statistical analysis of chi-score was drawn to assure homogeneity of the participants in terms of the number of cohesive devices in their writing. And then the treatment was administered as follows. In the experimental group, students were taught reading passages um, using jigsaw techniques, and in their control group, students were taught the same passages using traditional techniques of silent reading, word explanation and asking and answering comparison questions. In the jigsaw class, students were divided into six groups, and in each group, one person was appointed as the leader of the group. A passage, um, passage was also divided uh, into five segments, and each person was assigned to read one of them. Then the uh, leader of the group, with the help of the team members, tried to figure out the meaning of the whole passages and put the parts together. At the end of the, this, uh, prior students were ask again to uh, write and stay on the same topic they wrote about at the beginning of the period and once more the number of cohesive devices in their essays were counted using cohesive device checklist after collecting data the, uh, collecting the essays at the beginning and end of instruction frequency count was conducted for cohesive devices in the writings the total and individual uh, frequency count of uh, all cohesive devices were fed in uh, SPSS and, and chi-square. Uh, method was used to understand the possible significant differences between the control group and experimental group in terms of number of cohesive devices in their writings. And after collecting the PET language proficiency scores from both control group and experimental group, the histogram with normality curve was uh, 
thought using SPSS. It was found that the sample was normally distributed uh, in terms of language proficiency scores. And uh, after normality was determined, 60 students whose scores uh, fell with a one standard deviation were chosen for the uh, treatment. These students were further in, divided into, into uh, two groups of 30 students for determining homogeneity of students in terms of use of coercive devices, chi-squares. Uh, Chi-square was utilized. As shown in table, the value of chi-square was larger than confidence interval of uh, 0 0.05. Therefore, um, it was found that the control group and experimental group was not significantly different from each other in terms of use of coercive devices. And then uh, to prove the possible differences between control and experimental groups in the use of coercive devices after the uh, intervention, I mean, jigsaw reading, chi-square was run. Since significance value was smaller than a confidence interval of uh, 0 0.05, it was concluded that mm, there is a significant difference between control group and experimental group after utilizing jigsaw reading. In other words, the experimental group and control group use cohesive devices in their states differently and con consequently it can be uh, inferred that there is a statistically significant relationship between jigsaw reading and the use of cohesive devices in intermediate level uh, learners writing. And uh, the result of a statistical analysis uh, indicates that jigsaw reading had a positive significant uh, effect of uh, the use of cohesive devices in intermediate EFL learners' writing. Based on the findings, EFL teachers are encouraged to use jigsaw reading text to improve the use of cohesive devices in EFL learners' writing.